So tonight, IMPD is now enforcing the city's curfew. This after seven young people were shot downtown over the last weekend. This is what the scene looked like at Maryland and Illinois last weekend after police say a fight led to that shooting. Police say six of the people who were injured in the shooting were between the ages of 14 and 16. One of them was a 12 year old boy. Tonight, our Chase Hal talked to police about how both the kids and now their parents could face consequences if they're caught out after curfew. That's right, and people can't say they didn't know about the curfew either because IMPD says they're going to warn groups of kids 30 and 15 minutes before curfew is set to begin. It's a scene police are hoping to never see again. It is our duty as parents, as adults, and as law enforcement to keep our children safe, alive, out of jail, and out of the cemetery. IMPD says last weekend shooting downtown that sent seven kids between 12 and 16 years old to the hospital caused them to start enforcing the city's curfew. According to that ordinance, 15 to 17 year olds cannot be out between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday without some sort of supervision. For those 14 years old and younger, their curfew starts at 11 p.m. and ends at 5 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday, again without supervision. And if a minor is caught disobeying the ordinance, a number of things could happen. This may involve bringing the juvenile to a designated safe and secure location. At that time, officers will make attempts to notify a parent, guardian, or custodian of that child. Parents and guardians will be granted a reasonable amount of time to pick up their child. If contact with parents or guardians cannot be established, the juvenile will be transported to the juvenile detention center for a status offense. IMPD says people can expect to see more officers in and out of uniform patrolling downtown. Analysts in the real time crime center will monitor city cameras and will use other technology to identify individuals engaging in disorderly and criminal behavior. And if a minor is caught in either types of those situations, their parent or guardian could also face consequences. There is potential for criminal charges for someone who knowingly allows their kids to be somewhere they're not supposed to be and something terrible happens. So, uh, but each incident has its own set of circumstances. There's no black and white answer to any of that. There's a lot of gray. Now for those wondering what the curfew is Sunday night through Thursday night, the ordinance states that anyone under 17 should not be out past 11 p.m. Reporting in Indianapolis, Chase Howell, 13 News.